Hello guys, my name is Fernando. I'm an animator and I'm game designer. Uh, I have a degree in animation and game development. However, I have not worked in the industry. I went straight to teaching college and I have a long lasting passion for 3D modeling and animation and drawing. And I have not practiced that in a long time. And I decide that I want to come back and I want to start improving my skills. Uh, one thing that bugged me for a long time is back in time when I was practicing, when I was learning how to use Maya, uh, I wanted to create one of my favorite characters from Full Metal Alchemist. As you can see here, it's Alphonse. And bear in mind that this was in the beginning. Uh, I was still learning how to use the tools and everything. And to be fair to myself, this is a pretty good job. It shows a lot of patience, it shows a lot of observation skills and I can't remember what was the reference I was using at the time but it's pretty much within the boundaries of the character. You can easily identify as you can see. When I was modeling I had finished the helmet however the file crashed and I could never open this file anymore. And I, for all these years I had this almost finished character and that was put pushed aside and it was always knocking on my head on the back of my head that I really wanted to finish this character so just recently I was going through some old files and I happened to find a backup of that file so I was thinking if I'm going to redo it why not just do the whole thing again because now I can see is it is not as good as I wish it was you know and so I decided I'm going to create a new one I have taken a few references from uh, some illustrations I really like about the character and I'm trying to focus mainly on what's on the manga rather than on the animation uh, but I'm also taking reference from the animation I'm also taking references from other artists that uh, have created their own version of the character and uh, I have decided to set some rules going forward with, recre with recreation oops where's my English with recreating this character so one, the one rule is I am not allowed to use my Cintiq tablet I can only use my mouse to model anything on the screen the other one is Maya only except for um, when I'm texturing the char character okay uh, so everything I'm going to do is going to be in Maya and when I'm finished um, I don't know exactly if I want to uh, UV map this character or if I'm just going to leave it because the, the, the thing with Alphonse is everything that you see is actual physical it's, it's like it's it's molded into the character very little of it is thanks to texture uh, because he's a huge piece of armor so everything that you see is how the metal is bent to form that shape that you see so later I'm going to decide whether I'm going to you fully uh, unwrap this character and apply some texture because the texture will definitely will complement the character of course but mm, we'll see I'll make that decision later and uh, what I'm planning to do with this, I'm actually not planning to uh, anything actually I just want to practice and uh, remember how to use this software I'm going to make a lot of mistakes moving forward because I forgot some things okay and my intention is not to create the next most amazing and unbelievable design for Alphonse uh, I just want to make something that looks really nice and express my level of skills that I am at the moment and we'll see how it's gonna look like so when I'm finished with this project I'm going to send it to Substance Painter I'm going to apply some texture using Triplanner or if I unwrap uh, the character I'll just uh, use the UV layout I want you to enjoy this journey with me so let's do it
And there it is guys, it was such a big project, I struggled a lot and I've learned a lot from this and it was very successful. Uh, I got myself into a really good speed again, modeling, I'm in a very comfortable place doing this and moving forward I just want to improve this and I hope you also have learned something from it, I know that the speed modeling might be a little, a little bit fast I don't know but there is 24 hours compressed in this video so I've modeled this character throughout uh, throughout the last four days yes four five days but it was a really good experience again and I'm really happy with the results I'm very satisfied with it and I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did um, for the future I I will try to create other um, uh, objects, I will try something easier, not as complex as that one. So once more, thank you very much for watching, take care.